What's up guys? So it's been a few days uh, since I vlogged. We've been extremely busy. Summer's crazy. <coughs> the kids got me sick. <clears throat> Nothing like being sick when it's like 95 in the middle of July. It's the worst. So I guess it's just a way of life with kids. They're like little Petri dishes. Here's the deal. I want to update you on the market now. It's... 8.49 in the morning, it's Wednesday. I have a Motive Wave webinar coming up in 10 minutes. We have a ton of positions strapped on ahead of the open. Apple reported earnings, so I wanna take you through the open, show you the positions we're in, and get caught up. Um, there's a few things going on. The challenge was if I could get down to 190 pounds and 5,000 subscribers by August 6th, I would give away 10 of the Fibonacci interactive courses that are going to teach you basically how to trade with Fib. I got sick. I have been working out as much as I wanted to, but I have been dropping weight. You guys don't want to hear excuses, so we hit the 5,000 subscribers, so I'll probably give away the courses anyway. Thanks to Ed over at TechSource. My setup was featured over there. We, I think we won the contest. We have a ton of new subscribers, so thanks guys. I will um, roll into the open here in the positions that we're holding, show you how that shakes out. Let's dive in. Um, all right, you guys are quiet in questions. We have a nice attendance. You guys ready to go? And you're already starting with the questions. I like it, I like it. All right, so let's dive in. We really need to see this hold. If you start to see crude oil move up, then great. This count is going to hold. If we break through 42 and a quarter, I really think that's going to weigh on the broader markets. Let's see how these things open. I expect to be, yep. So on net long, Apple position, I was too right. So I'm down 247 bucks, 275 on Apple, down 175 now, um, down 67. So that's getting better. So altogether, GDX is up now. Gold's making money. We're making money in EEM, losing some money in GLD, making money in NVIDIA, making money in silver, losing money in Tesla, you dog, losing money in healthcare. Bonds, there you go. I like that bonds are up, 187 bucks. That's that kind of hedge. Apple, I'm down 200 bucks um, because basically what happened is, I'll show you the Apple analysis. I was going to save this to the end. So basically, we put on an option structure that was expecting the, the expected range to be broken. So they were looking for three and a half. The option markets were looking for three and a half dollars higher or lower was the plus and, one, plus and minus one standard deviation. So we put on an option trade that would make money if we just exceeded the, the expected range on the top side as well as the downside. So the problem is... We had the 100, 101 call spread, which was a debit spread. And then I sold 103 calls to take in some premium. So right now we're up at 104. So we're right at the point where the trade starts to lose money because I was too right on Apple beating expectations. I didn't give it enough credit. Okay, so I tried to get a little fancy there. Um, some of my customers only have the 100, 101 call spread and they're making sweet money on that. So that's awesome. So I need Apple to back away a little bit, or I might have to take a, a little bit of a loser on this trade. As I told you, the dollar is very, very much confused right now. We can go back over it if you want. Look at that. Oh, I'm up 618. Fibonacci, 618 bucks. I love that. I just want to take a look at the dollar. Uh, crude oil, 43. And what's the dollar doing? Up. Oh, okay, so we have Apple beating. Stock market's breaking out, and the dollar's only up a tenth of a percent. That's a joke. The Fed's not raising rates, okay? I'm waiting to sell that dollar. The market just closed. Uh, it was a crazy P&L day, up and down. We were up money to start. Then we were down on the day. Then the Fed came out and completely chickened out of hiking rates. They are such a bunch of chickens, completely covered, uh, controlled by the government. It's crazy. They, they couldn't even commit to a, a September rate hike. So earlier, if you were listening, I said, dude, the dollar is such a technical sell and the dollar got crushed right after the Fed. All of our positions um, that are related to the dollar and what the Fed's doing made money today. So here, let me show you. So EEM, that guy made 500 bucks today. 
GDX, which is gold miners, that guy made $700 today. Gold itself, we're short gold. Um, lost a little bit, but still up in the trade. Silver, that made 500 bucks today. Bonds, long bonds, that made 500 bucks today. So like not, all these markets that are so dependent on the Fed, they're not going anywhere. So the one stinker today was Nvidia. That guy uh, didn't do so well. So here's TLT. This tracks the uh, the direction of the U.S. bond market, and it's basically the Fed gets closer closer to raising rates. This chart is going to go down, except this chart isn't going down. This chart is going up. <laughs> Even with Apple beating earnings, Facebook crushed earnings. Like everything's fine. We got through Brexit, and they still can't raise rates. They're such a bunch of wimps. Uh, here's the dollar DX, which is the U tracks the U.S. dollar. So this was the technical setup in the dollar, and I've been talking about it. I was banging my desk this morning. I've been telling customers, like, this is not a buy. The dollar is not a buy, and this is what happened today. It got, this is the daily chart. It sold off very heavily. There's the dollar post-Fed. <laughs> Sweet, right? Um, bonds are acting really well. TLT, we have that position on, which is your long bond trade. And that guy. This is a daily chart. That guy was ripping today. So those kind of things shouldn't be happening when the Fed is trying to raise rates and they're not. So, so the point is we had the Fed policy, right? I feel pretty good about this. We know what's going on with the Fed and the stock market, the S&P 500, basically this is a three hour chart. This guy has gone nowhere since July 13th. Okay, here we are July 27th, and the, and the stock market's just gone sideways. Today it did nothing. Stock market was like flat. S&P was down 0.12%, NASDAQ was up two-thirds of a percent, and the Dow was down one-hundredth of one percent. So my point is the stock market didn't do anything, but it's all about the dollar in here. If you follow your technical patterns, which we did in the dollar, we had a bunch of trades on that are dependent on Fed policy, a weaker dollar, interest rates staying low, bond prices staying strong, and we had a nice P&L day today. So you're still here? I guess you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and click the thumbs up button or subscribe to this channel directly below and you'll get the videos in real time. Or you're gonna have seven years of bad luck trading and you have to babysit Jake and Brody. <laughs>